Well, it's another video, and once again, I find myself back in ripoff territory. A while back, I reviewed the movie Mighty Peking Man, a ripoff of King Kong. While it may have been a little lacking with regards to acting, logic, and good special effects, it more than made up for those things with slow motion disco ballad montages. Could it be a man? Could it be a man? Well, guess what? Mighty Peking Man wasn't the only King Kong ripoff made in the 70s. Oh no. You see, when a movie is popular, you don't just get one knockoff, you get a whole galaxy of knockoffs. And to that end, we have Ape, a South Korean US co production that's such a blatant ripoff they actually needed two countries just to contain the shame. See Ape! Like Mighty Peking Man, Ape is yet another schlocky, low budget movie made to cash in on the 1976 remake of King Kong. However, this movie has a little something going for it that King Kong didn't. See Ape in 3D! Whoa, it's like the shitty effects are coming right at me! Oh, and I have no idea why they put the asterisks in between the letters. I guess ripping off King Kong wasn't enough. They had to rip off MASH, too. The movie is also known under the title Attack of the Giant Horny Gorilla. Yeah, because out of all the things I've ever wanted to see in 3D... Wait a second, what's this? Not to be confused with King Kong? Yeah, don't worry fellas, I think you're okay. Alright, so let's get this shit train moving. So we open up on the good ship Fisher Price making its way across an indoor kiddie pool. How quiet below? Yes sir, the big boy is sleeping like a kitten. I didn't skip over anything. This is literally the first scene in the movie, and they've already caught the ape and are bringing him to civilization. You know how in most giant ape movies, the filmmakers would actually show people going into the jungle to find him? Maybe have him face some dangers, fight some dinosaurs? Well, not this one. This movie actually starts when most giant ape movies are already more than half over. Were you there on the island when they caught him? Yeah, sure was. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Yeah, too bad the audience did. So, what kind of acting and dialogue can we expect from this movie? No smoke? Thank you, sir. Thank you. He's something to see, I tell you. I know. Imagine. Almost 36 feet tall. Wow. Really? That's really the delivery you're going with? <laughs> you gotta be bullshitting me. Nah, no, it's true. How long is this movie? That's gonna feel like an eternity, isn't it? I sure hope the gas that put him out lasts that long. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. They say he should be out for, oh, another five days or so. Hi! Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, man, I think I just found something to replace Psyche. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so apparently the boat just explodes then. Well, that went by quicker than I thought. See ya! Alright, alright. So apparently completely unharmed by the ship blowing up, we then see the big gorilla. And if you thought the acting was something, where do you get a load of this? Wow. Somebody actually thought this gorilla suit was worthy of being on film. I mean, Mighty Peking Man may have looked like... Well, okay, he looked like a guy in a suit, too. But it was a better suit than this. This literally looks like a cheap Halloween costume they picked up at Walmart. Look, you can even see the actor's arm through the sleeves. <laughs> you gotta be bullshitting me. The ape then starts wrestling with a shark because... Hey, Jaws made money. Might as well cash in on that, too. Why do I get the feeling if this had been made a year later, they would have tried to incorporate lightsabers somehow? Well, the ape suit may look like crap, but at least the shark looks real. Real dead, that is. Can you still say no animals were harmed if you break its jaw after it's already dead? So after that, the ape, who I guess I'll just call ape since they don't bother to give him a name, makes his way to the Korean mainland. Oh no, not the power lines! Now how are the Koreans supposed to play StarCraft? Ah well, at least they can still play Donkey Kong. Oh, 
There's your first reminder that this movie's in 3D. Yeah, suck it, James Cameron. Did Avatar have exploding oil drums on guide wires flying at the camera? Don't think so. Is Merlin Baker on flight 005 from Los Angeles? No one will be seated during the thrilling flight checking scene. So because every King Kong knockoff needs a blonde Caucasian for the ape to kidnap, we have a visiting American actress played by... The Mom from Growing Pains. Huh. Well, I suppose I should make a Growing Pains reference here, but... I didn't really watch that show, so I'm not really sure what clip to use. Well, I already brought it up. I gotta show something now. Um... Here. You fantasize about conquering the mother from Growing Pains? Oh, yeah, that episode where they showed her in the bathtub? Huh? Sorry, that's the best I could do. This is my first visit to the Orient, and my first movie picture outside of the United States, and I'm very, very excited. Unfortunately for her, that movie is Ape. The guy in the turtleneck here is Tom, a journalist who's apparently decided to come all the way to Korea just so he could be close to Marilyn. Ah, uh, it's good to know he decided not to take the creepy route in pursuing this relationship. I see you're traveling in your usual style. Hey, listen, this is the best I could do. I'm a reporter, not Charlton Heston. <laughs> That's an understatement. All right, as riveting as watching you two lovebirds is, what do you say we get back to the ape? A farmer spots the ape's footprints, but despite being in a wide open area, doesn't see the ape itself until it's right in front of him. I guess he took stealth lessons from the T-Rex in The Last Dinosaur. What? What the hell was that? There's no context for this scene. A guy in a jeep just runs into a 2x4 for no apparent reason. Did they just stick that in so they could get another cheap 3D effect? Ugh, this fucking movie. I need a drink. <sighs> well, back to the movie. So after Private Doofy here surveys the damage, it finally dawns on him that something's wrong. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We also have several scenes with the obligatory colonel who doesn't believe what's going on. Now, what kind of bullshit are you trying to hand me? It's a movie called Ape, sir, and if I could just get the Army's participation, I think it could be a real blockbuster. Actually, the movie does thank the U.S. Army for their participation, and we do get a couple shots of some jeeps and helicopters, but I have a suspicion that the Army's participation went beyond just providing some equipment. Seriously, does it seem like acting is this guy's first profession? It's a damn publicity stunt for a... Some movie they're making. Didn't you read the morning paper? Yeah, they're, you know, that Marilyn, uh, what's her name, is all over the front page. Making a movie here. The U.S. Army. We give more awkward line readings before 9 a.m. than most actors do in a day. We then cut to Family Land, the emptiest place on Earth. Oh, wait, never mind, there's some kids. Wait a second, are they breaking into this place? Does Korea have a problem with roving gangs of kids who break into amusement parks? Well, I guess I can't blame them for being excited. After all, Family Land does have teacups and a slide. Pretty soon the big ape shows up, but rather than attacking the kids, he just kind of stands there and looks at them. You know, I don't like the way he's looking at those kids. What was the other title of this movie? Attack of the Giant Horny Gorilla? <laughs> and in case you didn't get it before, here's another scene where the Colonel doesn't believe there's a giant ape going around mildly annoying people. Have any of our people seen this supposed monster? No, I thought not. Look, why don't you do a little more investigating before getting so hysterical? Good. Good, you do that. And call me if you have something. Oh, hello? Hello? If you should bump into him, ask him if his name is King Kong. Hey look, another animal. And this one's actually alive. Alright, well it was. What? What are we, in a kung fu movie now? What is this? What, they're fighting with gardening tools? What the hell is going on? 
Oh, okay, they're filming a movie. Well, that's convenient. That means they can use their movie weapons for some more cheap 3D effects. <laughs> Would you like some more pancakes? <laughs> wow, that's sad. I think he just realized what movie he's in. By now you're probably noticing a pattern with this movie. They show the ape wandering around for a couple of minutes, then they show the colonel doing his Bob Newhart routine into the phone, then back to the ape. That's basically the entire first half of the movie. The only variety we get is whatever stupid thing the ape does. Like juggling a hang glider on a string. By the way, doesn't the music for this scene just scream menace? Well, we haven't seen Mrs. Seaver in a while. What's she up to? And I just saw one of Maggie Seaver's nipples. There's something I never thought I'd say. You slut! One more time. Come on. Easy, Greg. I mean, you gotta, you gotta be gentle. Gentle? This is a goddamn rape scene, and you want me to be gentle, Dino? Uh, just what kind of movie are they filming here? Did Jess Franco make any movies in South Korea? I mean, you're taking a chance being out here on location. I mean, that thing. Well, King Kong? By this time, the colonel's finally caught on that something's up and decides to do something about it. For all American civilian personnel to be evacuated to Seoul immediately. They'll be safe here. But, sir, the logistics... Screw the logistics! Move it, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Please, Please. evacuate the villages and the countryside. <laughs> okay, I don't know why they were worried about logistics. Apparently there's a PA system in every village in Korea. Repeat. Please evacuate the village... <laughs> wow. Even the movie got tired of that guy's voice. Anyway, lightly jog for your lives, people. Okay, actors, now... Action! What the hell? They're filming another rape scene? How many rape scenes are in this movie? Uh, I think you're out of camera range. You can probably stop running now. But keep running she does, right into the waiting arms of the ape. Seriously, what is it with these movies and stealthy giant monsters? Mr. Magoo would have seen this thing sooner. So the ape kidnaps Marilyn, and considering the way the rest of this movie's gone, I don't even want to think about what he intends to do to her. He channeled it. I've never done a rape scene with a gorilla before. Fortunately for her though, this movie has the participation of the US Army and they send some helicopters in to help. I mean, they're remote controlled helicopters, but still. Alright, whoever's responsible for these effects needs to be circumcised with a wood chipper. They don't even try to hide the wires here. Hey, right back at you, movie. Tom rescues Marilyn and decides to take her somewhere safe. If you get her out, take her to my house in Seoul. Okay, she'll be out of danger there. Good luck, Tom. Okay, so she'll be safe if she goes back to Seoul? The monkey's on his way back to Seoul. Safe directly in the monster's path. It's really just a matter of semantics, isn't it? Meanwhile, in the Korean production of Pinocchio, so Marilyn stays with the local police chief's family while the ape makes his way to Seoul. But first, two random people making out. Can't you wait until I take my clothes off? Uh, hey baby. Are you one of the ones who, like, does it? Another thing you may have noticed is that they never show the ape and people in the same shot. They show the ape, they show people reacting to him, but they never show them together. Well, there is a very good reason for that. Feast your eyes on this. That's right, people. Some of the worst mat shots you will ever see in your entire life. 
Hey, check it out, I'm in the movie. So we get more scenes of the ape wrecking soul, and is it weird that they use the exact same crumpling paper sound every time he wrecks something? God, I never would have thought watching a giant monster wreck a city could be so tedious. How's Marilyn doing? <laughs> Jesus, those kids really like that puppet. Are they on nitrous oxide or something? And why are they even still there? The apes already rampaging through Seoul. Shouldn't they have evacuated by now? Okay, so Marilyn's been kidnapped again. You gonna do anything about it, Colonel? And the Korean government have issued orders to kill that hairy son of a bitch. Oh, good. Maybe that means this movie will finally be over. Normally, this would be the point where the ape climbs a tall building, but not this movie. Mm -mm. Instead, he climbs a hill, a fucking hill, and the army goes in after him. <laughs> 3D! Yeah, that's right. Smile. You're on camera. So that's basically the climax of the movie. The ape climbs a hill and throws styrofoam boulders at some toy tanks. Whoa, take it easy, fellas. The suit's falling apart and we gotta return it to the costume shop in an hour. Oh, are we supposed to feel sorry for the ape? Here, just give me a second. I'll help you out. Too big for a small world like ours. He was 10 pounds of ape in a 5 pound world. And that's the end of Ape. Not to be confused with a good movie. So what's a good word to describe this movie? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I need to tell you this, but Ape is one King Kong sized pile of gorilla crap. I mean, we're talking grade Z schlock here. I wish I could recommend this as a so bad it's hilarious movie, and parts of it definitely are, but it's also really slow and tedious in a lot of places. I mean, Mighty Peking Man may have been a bad movie, but at least it was fast paced. If you've got some buddies over and just want to riff on it, this one might be good for a couple of laughs, but I'm guessing you'll probably have your finger on the fast forward button a lot of the time. My advice, if you want to see a cheesy King Kong ripoff that's actually entertaining, get Mighty Peking Man instead. Well, that's all for now. Till next time. Things that bother you never bother me. I feel happy and fine. Ha ha! Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. Having got a lot, I don't need a lot. Coffee's only a dime. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. What the hell are you looking at? My fly unzipped or something? <laughs>